Welcome back to another Alliance War. This time around, 4 Loki is going up against D69. And this was a pretty fun war, just because I got to take on a bunch of defenders than what I'm normally used to seeing. And as a result of uh, taking a look at my path here and, and checking out some, some little bit unusual defenders, or at least in a case where I don't think I need Void, I was able to take in a champion just for synergies, so that's why you're going to see Vulture on my... Uh, on my team here. Now this first node I'm thinking this is going to be a yellow jacket. I've seen yellow jacket on this node before, but it turns out it's actually Gladiator Hulk. And Gladiator Hulk, I you know, I'm I'm okay I'm fairly confident when I'm fighting him, but then again it's been a little while so I wasn't exactly sure of all of his animations. You can see I was actually very late on punishing his his, uh, his heavy attack in the beginning of that fight. Uh, and I could have gotten parried by that, and that could have been a little bit of a disaster there. You can see this next time around when I uh, when I bait out a heavy attack, uh, I'm much more uh, quick to react to it, and this time there's no way that I would get punished. So uh, it's just these little things like that that you have to kind of keep in mind as you're as you're going through Alliance War. Even though this this fight, you know, I came out in in pretty healthy shape here. I didn't really take much damage other than a little bit of chip damage from blocking. Um, you know, you could still look at all of your fights and find little flaws like that that can help you going forward as long as you, uh, you know, break down the fight and analyze it a little bit like that. So, uh, I gotta keep in mind, you know, whatever I'm fighting, uh, Gladiator Hulk, he's got that two-hit heavy attack and just go straight in after that. Uh, and just, just try to keep in mind that going forward just in general, right? A lot of, I mean, one of the, one of the most reliable openings that you have in this game is going in after the enemy does a heavy attack, uh, but if you're too slow on it, you know you can end up getting parried, and usually after that you get five hit comboed. And in these alliance wars, sometimes that's all it takes to lose that fight. Now I'm going to be boosting up like crazy here, not necessarily for this node; it's for the following node. Uh, but I've you know I've got I've got all five energy back and uh, boosted up, and you'll see why in the following node in just a moment. But this this fight here is a night crawl. This is stun immune. And luckily, I was able to uh, get him to switch pretty early on into the fight, so uh, it ended up being not that big of a deal. Got uh, got a little bit of a lucky break that uh, he allowed me to have him, have him switch over there. Uh, and it ends up being a pretty quick fight. Uh, only 15 hits due to class advantage and boosting like crazy. So, uh, very fast fight. I didn't even get that many poise charges built up. I just built up a couple and then saw those openings and, and went for it. Okay, so, this next fight, here's where it gets a little bit interesting, a little bit unusual. It, this is a six-star skill, uh, and this is the Recovery Limber Buffet node. And I'm thinking, hey, what six-star skill champions are there? What could possibly be on this node? Well, it's not going to be Winter Soldier, I know that much. It's probably not going to be Karnak, although, you know, Karnak with the reduced stun duration. Anyway, uh, it's Kingpin. <laughs> it turns out it's Kingpin. Uh, and I do make a little bit of mistakes here. Um, you know, I should have built up my poise charges even more than I do. Uh, you're gonna see in just a moment. I'm, I'm gonna go in on them. And at the moment, I only have eight poise charges. And yeah, I start attacking. Uh, and all this damage that I'm dealing, it's he's just gonna heal it right back up, pretty much. So I should have just not wasted any time. I should have just, uh, you know, built up my poise charges even further. I, I mean, I get a whole other combo in before he heals up, but you can see that healing is, is nuts on this node. Um, so you have to be very careful. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I really like to bring in Void, because it's it's pretty difficult to avoid triggering that healing. Uh, I mean, you can certainly play in a way of, uh, you know, when, when you're evading, uh, to not trigger dexterity, but I'm not really the best at it. Uh, and as much as I practice it, sometimes I mess up and then I end up getting hit. So if I can play it a little bit safer and, and just trigger that dexterity, I'm okay with that, like I'm doing here in this fight. Um, what I should be doing, though, that is very safe, and I should absolutely be doing it, is uh, is just letting uh, Stark Spidey take the wheel more. I, I have to remember that. For some reason, when I'm in the actual fight, it, it's hard for me to just let him take over and auto-evade these to allow me to keep building poise charges without triggering the dexterity buff. But it's something that I absolutely have to remember if I, uh, if I want to improve my Stark Spidey sp skills going forward. Um, it's it's the best way to keep your poise charges high without triggering buffs. Uh, but in any case, you know I was I was boosted up like crazy, and he does end up dropping. Stark Spidey is is uh, you know one of the best counters to this node, I would say. Uh, Void is is more reliable, but uh, against Kingpin, Kingpin's just going to shrug off all those debuffs that Void throws at him, and uh, yeah, that would that would not be a fun time. So that's that's why I left Void at home for this one. 
All right, this next node up is just a four-star tech champion. And this node can be a little bit troublesome for me at times, depending who's on it. Um, but a four-star tech champion, I don't even know why I bother looking at the profile as if it was going to be in there. Uh, it's, this is the power, go, pow, power gain in node. And uh, it doesn't really matter what tech champion is here. I should be fine to go with Stark Spidey. Uh, and I've got 91% life, so yeah, I don't need to heal up or anything like that. And it's Green Goblin, so I'm going to naturally build up poise charges against this guy pretty quick. But you're going to see a lot of mistakes. I mean, what was, first off, what was that attack that just happened? You're going to see some other missed opportunities. Uh, I, I could have went in <laughs> on one of these other attacks. Like, this, this, this is the oddest, this, this most bizarre attack sequence uh, <laughs> I've ever done in Alliance War, man. We're just, like, throwing these jabs out every once in a while. I finally, after this, I'm finally able to get it together. And I parry him here and, yeah, just get some combos going. Going to stun him with the special one. Go in one more time and, and he's toast, man. Uh, luckily, like I said before, this is only a four-star champion. Um, four-star champions, it's one of the things about Alliance War right now as, as to why, uh, you know, the kill counts are so low is, um, you know, four-star champions, even if you make a lot of mistakes, if we're using a 455 champion or if you can even 565 champions, it's sometimes, like, pretty hard to die. Like, I, I made a ton of mistakes there, right? Uh, but I was still able to, to, to come through that fight with, with half my HP. Uh, you know, especially because I'm boosted up too. So it's not even just like a regular champion against these four stars. It's a boosted up five star, boosted up high level five star. All right, anyway, this is going to be Iceman. I am almost absolutely sure of it that it's Iceman on this power shield node. Uh, of course, I'm going with Stark Spidey. I'm going to heal up a little bit just to play it safe because, you know, Iceman, he's going to chip away all that health in the beginning anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm still boosted up. I'm, I'm actually going to pop one of these uh, advanced power boost. I was thinking about the regeneration one, um, but I was like, nah, let me just go with the advanced power. I, I'm, I'm, I'm fully stocked on these things, and actually, uh, at the time, they were available in the store, so I would have been overflowing. So I pop that and get this fight started nice and quickly here. The, uh, the damage from Iceman is actually not that bad. Uh, just because, like I said, I, I am boosted up and it is a high level champion, plus class advantage and all that, so I'm actually sitting pretty good. The damage really doesn't do all that much to me. Um, I was a little bit sketchy there on that on that evade and attack in. The auto evade didn't let me jump in right away, so here I just played it a little bit safe. What I'm trying to do now is parry him to get rid of his ice armor. There we go. It's gone now, so now I'm going to pop the L2, and it's going to deal some pretty good damage. Uh, and unfortunately, it's not enough to kill him. So I'm going to have to hit him with one more special. Even a special one should do, though. So I'm just going to try to get to a special one real quick and as, and as safely as possible. All right, cool. I'm at a special one. Now I just need to land a parry and do the exact same thing. Um, but you're going to see, for some reason, I just have a hard time landing a parry and actually end up getting slapped around a little bit. Uh, still can't land that parry. So I'm like, all right, you know what? Uh, I'm at a special two at this point. It doesn't matter if his ice armor absorbs one of the blows. He's going down. So yeah, I just pop that and finish things off. Um, the end of that fight did not go so smoothly, man. The beginning was, was pretty good, but the end of it, yeah, not, not so good if you can't even land a, a freaking parry. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's it for this war. That was my final fight, but it, like I said, this was a pretty fun war just because I got to see some different champions. Don't really see Gladiator Hulk that much. I've never seen Kingpin on Node 24 before. Uh, Iceman on Power Shields, which was like, you know, it was just it was a pretty fun war. Uh, we did end up winning this one too, which is of course always a nice bonus to it. Uh, but it was a very close war, so uh, you know, good job to you guys. D69, I'm sure we're gonna fight each other again, whether it's in this season or the next, and I'm sure we're gonna have another uh, another close war in our hands. Uh, but that's it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.